So we are headed into Storybook Circus, which was its own land at one point. It kind of is a mini land. It's an extension of Fantasyland. Uh, but that's where we're going back. Uh, we're going to Barnstormer, and we're going to go over around the corner here, do some meet and greets, because we love our meet and greets. We do. I mean, who doesn't? Honey. Yeah? Are you getting warm? I am. I mean, it is a little hot out here. It's it like 70 some degrees. Yep. Want to go play in the water? Maybe on the way out. On the way out? Okay. Walk through it. I'll like watch you play in the water because I ain't playing in it. <laughs> okay, big choice ahead of us. I know. Minnie I and Daisy or Goofy and Donald? I don't know. You gotta pick one. Goofy and Donald. Goofy and Donald it is. It's Donald and Goofini. Yay! They got all their stuff all side set up here in the sideshow. And we're gonna meet them first, then do a ride and then go back and meet uh, Daisy and Minnie. That's it. Yay, under the big top. There he is. There they are. Is it? It's the big goof himself. Going. Uh, Hi. Uh, what's up that Go look at it. <laughs> you didn't do that, did you? No. No, it wasn't you, huh? <laughs> he said maybe. <laughs> Oh, the big old goof. Love meeting and greeting the uh, characters. Characters. Uh, the interactions are great on some of them. Ouch. Others, not so much. Right. Uh, it all depends on you know how they're feeling that day, uh, how busy they are. Today they are busy. Yeah, they are. Uh, so busy that we are changing our plans. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna tell you what we're gonna do ever again. I know it's always changing. All the time. Uh, Barnstormer was at 30 minutes when we went in that line. Right. It's at an hour now. Right. Uh, I was going to go on Seven Dwarfs in the evening at night, but then you guys wouldn't be able to see anything, so that didn't make sense. We're going to go on uh, Seven, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train now so you can see. Uh, if we get time to come back to Mickey or uh, Minnie, Minnie and, and Daisy, Daisy, we will, but uh, I mean, they're almost there for the time of the week, too. Yeah. We're trying to get as much in as we can before. Uh, we need to start like slowing down for like shows and stuff. Right. Also, we need to eat. We're starving. Starving. So, on to Seven Dwarfs Fine Train. Yeah. But not before we watch him make some uh, delicious snacks. Look at the like. Wow. That looks good. Uh, but I think there's some other stuff going on over here that may be even better. Something we may have already tried. Ooh, this looks good. No, I thought they were doing maybe uh, the Rice Krispie treats, but they're not. They're doing other things. Look at that. Those are the cake pops. Uh, mini cake pops over here. And uh, these are uh, chocolate bars, I think. Ooh, looks good. Like, I couldn't do this job. Couldn't do it. I'd be just like eating the chocolate. Now it's the fun part of every shop we go into. I call this, where did the heck the Kristen go. There she is, found her. That was easier than I thought. These are cute. Little ornaments? No. Uh, uh, like a oh, leather yeah, accessories. And then you engrave, like, your oh, name. that's cute. That is cute. Hmm. They don't have a hook, do they? I don't think so. I know where we can find hook low. We're headed that way, anyways. Yep. We're going to stop off by Peter Pan after we go on uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So let's get over there. Well, there is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Uh, you actually go around front to go to it. We are making a detour here. We're going to walk through uh, aerial stuff and oh, Little okay. Mermaid stuff just to kind of show it off. Uh, also, uh, I want to go to Beauty and the Beast area because you're looking for a beast plush. plush. Yes. And that might be where they have one. Uh, I love this area. It's so pretty the ride there. is so good. Uh, the meet and greet is super good. Uh, we did all those on the previous vacations. We may or may not throw those pictures into these videos too. Do you know uh, where they are? I could find them, I'm sure. Okay. Might take me a little bit. But this is the new Fantasyland. Uh, new like 
five years ago new. Right. Compared to like 48 years ago Fantasyland. But it's so nice. It is. It's so detailed. There's just so many people here. It's hard to like actually show you stuff. Bubbles. Prince Eric's Castle. 45 minutes. That's awesome. 45 minutes. Where we're going is up here, not to Gaston's, uh, although I'd love to go to Gaston's and have a good uh, pint or something. Uh, maybe try the gray stuff. I heard it's delicious. Uh, but we're going over to this shop here to see if there is a Beast plush. Oh, you want to meet Gaston? I don't know if we have time to meet Gaston. Yeah, I don't know if we do. Uh, yeah, I don't know, babe. Let's just go in the uh, village gifts and see if we can find the, the thing first. Oh, okay, his line's closed. Never mind. Village gifts it is. Oh, it's very Christmassy back here. Well, honey. Yes. I said I'd find it. I didn't say you were going to want to buy it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if she's willing to spend 40 bucks. Yeah, that's a bit much. You may have to uh, ask about that one yeah. first before you just pick before that up for yeah, exactly. uh, Because I don't see any other smaller things. Ooh, these puzzles though look awesome over here. Dude, I have so many puzzles I need to work. I need to clean that office and work on those puzzles. Ooh, tea sets. Nice. I also find it weird that Rapunzel uh, is represented by a castle up in the uh, mountains yeah. and a bathroom. She gets her bathroom. That's all she a has. Bathroom. Rapunzel bathroom. Okay. That's all. Okay. She needs something else more than that. She does. Ooh, that's going to be up in a minute or yeah, five right. or ten. Hey, babe. Yeah. I think I got that wrong. That's the Beast Castle. Uh, Rapunzel's tower is over here. Oops. Well, you know how we are. Unofficial guides to uh, nothingness. We never know what's going on. Yeah, I know. Well, that's how we get back into old fantasy land. Uh, we're not going to old fantasy land though. We are turning over here and going to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Did I mention how packed it is today on a Saturday in December Christmas season? Yeah. Probably not the best time of year to come. But gotta follow the image. Yeah. Keep up with her. This queue is one of the best queues at Magic Kingdom, in my opinion. Look, it's the cottage that Snow White grew up in. Like, I love the queue. We're going in the mines. We're going underground, dig for them diamonds and rubies. Yeah, which is so good. I know the queue is awesome for this ride. It really is. Oh well. There's our boat. Our mine car? Yeah, mine car. Whatever. Here we go.
that video came out but that was fun wow that is such a awesome uh simpler roller coaster that was it's, a, it's a mine cart roast. Uh, it's great for a mine cart roast coaster uh, i am hungry uh, we haven't eaten well i mean we've eaten the past couple days but not like a good meal right uh, and we're still not playing too well nope. uh, but we're going to at least sit down and uh eat some food with substance in it that would be nice uh, we're going to do that now also, with a little bit of confusion of the pass, fast pass we got yesterday, uh, we got another fast pass today. Uh, I don't know how we keep we doing this. Keep we, just, we just keep racking them up. So uh, later this evening, we're going to go on Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, let's go over to Pinocchio. That's always fun. This is old fantasy land here. And we're actually going to turn around, uh, go this way. Uh, love the exterior of Pinocchio, by the way. We're going to Pinocchio's Village House and uh, grab some dinner <coughs> and hopefully a drink because my throat is super dry. And that's I why do. my speech is like kind of eh today. Okay, we successfully found the exit to uh, where we want to eat. Yep. Uh, now we need to find the entrance. Uh, Mickey's Phil Harmonic or Phil Magic. That might be the other one that the Fast Pass we got doesn't work on. Possibly. We'd have to ask. I've never been on that ride either. Hey, we found it. Yay, the entrance. Tell me, make everything up as we go, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Read the sign this time. Enter this way. <coughs> Ooh, the stringless puppet Pinocchio. Fun theming inside this uh, quick, quick service restaurant. Definitely fun theming indeed. So what we got here is a flatbread pepperoni pizza, yeah. some pasta, a good salad it looks like, and we get to sit here and look at the queue for It's a Small World. And if we were sitting over there, we'd be able to see some of the boats, right. but we're not, so oh well. Hey babe, there's a chicken on that pasta. Yeah, it's chicken parm, babe. It's chicken parm, not just pasta. Why did I not remember that? I don't know. Boo me. We're so corny. We changed seats. Mainly so I can watch the boats go by. Because I'm a vlogger and that's what vloggers do. They find weird ways to get shots of things they're not used to doing. <laughs> bye bye, enjoy your trip around the world. Have a good time. Also, they give you signs you could hold up in the window so the boat people, passers that go by, could read them. See if we can get someone to wave. Come on, somebody wave, somebody wave, somebody wave, somebody wave. Nobody's even looking at me. Nobody cares. Nope, no. Hey, there we go, a person. Woohoo! It's because Kristen started waving. Hey, let's get this group to wave. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I should really be eating at this point. <laughs> hey, diddly dee, it's an actor's life for me. And that food was great. It was super good. It's also a small world, and that was fun. The people in the boats were fun to like interact with. I enjoyed it. Uh, we are taking some pictures. Oh, we could have went upstairs. Oh, I bet you that would have been a good view. I didn't even know there was an upstairs. Oh well, maybe next time. Uh, we're gonna take some photos and then go to the restroom and then maybe if there's time, jump on to fill her magic. So we need to make our way around to the front of the castle to watch the castle lighting because who doesn't want to watch the castle light up? I know I do. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Hold up, there's a photo. Oh, there's a photo. People watching for photos. This is where we ate. Uh, we're gonna just zoom past Small World and uh, Peter Pan's flight because Peter Pan's flight will never get on ever. <laughs> fast passes don't work there unless you have a Peter Pan fast pass, which you have to get if you're a hotel guest. But that's about it. 
small world. In two years, maybe. Right. Small world on the list of things I want to do is towards the bottom. I've never been on small world. I wouldn't mind doing it, but it doesn't have to be this strip. Right. Peter Pan is an awesome ride. We rode it before. Uh, 95 minutes. Yeah. It's every time you look, it's always 95 minutes. Of course, it just reopened too. It was down. But like, if you come in at 8 o'clock on a day that opens at 8 o'clock, it's 95 minutes. Small world. 45 minutes. Yeah, that's not horrible. No. We don't have 45 minutes. No. Well, we do, but then we will never make it to what we want to do. There's Rapunzel's castle. Yay, found it. Those are some well-themed bathrooms. Because uh, that's all it is, the bathroom. This is all Peter Pan Q if they need it to be. I don't even know what this is. But that'd be fun to like sit up there and watch people uh, come up and down the uh, walkway. Oh, it's a restaurant. Okay, it's a restaurant. <laughs> 